Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to my life coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that I can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you get a lot of value from these videos. Now today the quote of the day is, we can complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because thorns have roses. So I hope you're doing well today. Uh, and I hope you're feeling grateful. We see that at the bottom line, it is all our perspective that determines how we view everything we have in our life around us. Um, can you count how many times a day you think thoughts that steal away your power? I knew, I know that I still do. I still have these thoughts, negative thoughts, thoughts like I can't do this, my situation doesn't make this possible, or I am too old, or I don't have enough support, or I can't leave this situation, I'm stuck, and so on and so forth. Well, Confucius once said, I was complaining that I have no shoes until I saw a man who had no feet. Although feelings of gratitude help us love the life that we already have, which is the best stepping stone to create an even better life for ourselves, if we desire to do so. But it is not easy to feel gratitude when we feel stuck. Although we may uh, know that when we count our blessings, it sends the message to our subconscious mind uh, from which we behave most of the day, that our cup is full, that we already have abundance in our life. And as the law of attraction states, when you have thoughts of having abundance right now, then you will be bringing more abundance into your life in the future. But still, how can you feel abundance when you feel frustration? Well, if you feel frustration, you most often than not will not be able to feel gratitude for what you currently have. And even if you do not feel frustration, but are just not really appreciating your current situation, it can come as a sign to you. Feelings of ungratefulness may actually uh, be a blessing as it is showing us that we are either really not in the place, the right place for us, or we simply do not yet understand what it is that we really have in our hands. But if we look at our life, we have so much to be grateful for. We have all the comforts one needs to make our lives much simpler. And it is just our minds that are making things less good for us than they can really be. It's just this crooked way of thinking and seeing things that messes everything up for us in our life. Now, the rose bush has both thorns and roses. As I said, we must have the dark in order to recognize the light. Or else, how could we compare these two things? And sometimes... Um, uh, we have these really impossible situations and we are really uh, unhappy with uh, with our life at the moment and it may seem difficult to get rid of these feelings. Now, one thing I know that has worked for me is doing a diluting act, as, as I call it, for what we are not happy with so that we can be happier with what we do have. Now... This diluting act is uh, is something that I used, uh, and it, it, because it may be something really small that affects and brings down all of the other areas of your life, so much so that we don't feel appreciative. No matter what we have, it is this something small, like you have this a small little stone in your shoe when you're walking and then you feel you feel it all the time so your focus is there so sometimes in our life we can have this small thing that is really really annoying us and this is bringing down all of the other aspects of our life so what can we do as I said, this is the diluting act, as I call it. You just dilute something. It's like you're diluting a juice with water because it's too sweet. So if you look at it, at what you have that is making you feel unhappy or frustrated or uh, certainly ungrateful for it, then in your imagination, you can see the image of it slowly becoming more and more blurry slowly losing its color and becoming colorless and slowly like sort of disappearing diluting itself and we can when you can take any situation and dilute its effects on you then the effect it has on you will also dilute itself 
It's like hearing the noise that is disturbing for you. But as time goes by, you may be able to block out that noise. It's like people living in a big city. Most people can't even hear an ambulance go by. But if someone comes from the countryside, they will have a very hard time to sleep there because of all the noise of the ambulance that they're not used to. So when we dampen the effects of something that has a negative effect on us, then it will naturally not affect us as much and we will see things in a different light. It's like the popular story of the goat. I don't know if you've heard it, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but it was a, a family uh, complaining of their small house. Now, there were four children and two adults living in a one bedroom apartment. So they went to the, their religious advisor and he told them, get a goat and put it in your house and come back again in two months. So the man was really surprised and he said, didn't you hear what I said? I said that we're, we're very uncomfortable. The house is too small for us and we're not, we're not, we don't want to stay. We don't want to live like this. And, um, everything is crowded. So, uh, the, um, the religious advisor remained silent and the man came home indeed with a goat and he put it in the house now living in the house now became a real punishment the goat was eating everything and excreting all over the floor and the beds and it was horrible so after two months of living like this the man came back to the religious advisor and the man told him now get rid of the goat and come back in two weeks so after two weeks, the man came back, all smiles, telling the, the, his advisor how happy they all were in the house now. So sometimes we just need things to get a little bit worse before we can appreciate what we do have. And when we remain in the comfort zone, soon we will be complaining of what we have as well. So you do actually need to have appreciation for what you do have in your life before you can receive more, or else what you will have will actually may be taken away from you if you don't appreciate it. Now, this is not some kind of a spiritual law or something like that. If you look at it in practical terms, that when you have something that may be valuable to other people, but is not valuable for you, you don't appreciate the object, then you won't treat it as something that is worthy. And you naturally will take more risks or ignore it or you just won't really appreciate that you have it and you may think that or you may think that it's just not enough and that it's simply not worthwhile and this this can happen with money it often does many people who have made exits on their businesses have lost a lot of money because they did not appreciate what they had and handed and didn't handle it with care and with respect that it deserves or they did not feel it was enough for them, so they took the risks of what they had and with what they had, and then they lose it. So as an entrepreneur, really, I, I myself am all for taking risks, but when we take the risks that show appreciation for what we currently have, meaning taking calculated risk, um, then uh, certainly the result will be different than if we take an action uh, a risk that comes from the place of we don't have enough and I need to make more. So appreciation of something does not mean, first of all, that we are satisfied with our current situation, but it does mean that our vibration is high and something better can enter our life. When we are feeling feelings of dissatisfaction, then the vibration we emit will not be very high and this will not attract something very good for us. So keeping a higher vibration will allow us to allow more into our life. And so you want to dampen and dilute the power of anything in your life that is bringing you down using your imagination. And you will have much more joy in your life. Um, so I remember Albert Einstein said that... Um, uh, imagination is more important than knowledge. And this is because... We can use our imagination to bring us anywhere we want to be in our life. And that is the power of imagination. So we can also remove things from our life using this dampening method. Um, just remove it slowly, have it disappear or blur away its effects on you. So the question you want to ask yourself today is, um, in, which area of your, uh, in which area of my life do I find myself complaining? 
And can I dilute the effects of this issue through, my, through the use of my imagination? So uh, one more time, uh, if, is there any area in my life that I find myself complaining and can I dilute the effects of this issue in my imagination? Now, if you see uh, that you can dilute it with your imagination, then just do it. Dilute the effects that it has on you and start to live a happier life for you. So let's move on to the affirmation of the day. It's very simple. I am becoming happier every day. I am happier every day. <laughs> now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness so that you think and behave differently for a better, happier life for you. So I'm wishing you lots and lots of blessings. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content. And you can also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for any health and uh, health programs, books, and anything to do with natural living. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.